Guys, what's up today and this afternoon we are here in front of the matured avocado fruit tree which is already uh, on protein stage and today we will start the part one of our on how to do the grafting method for avocado fruit trees. Okay, so we will begin with the very simple of grafting the avocado fruit tree seedling by using the big leaf grafting technique. But first, we have to identify the scion that will come from the matured branch of the avocado fruiting tree. And we have to identify also the rootstocks, which are newly grown avocado seedlings from the seeds of the ripened avocado fruits. Okay? So be with me for a few minutes and we will start the part one of our grafting series using the V-clip grafting method for the propagation of the avocado fruit trees. So okay, let's go! So we will take two scions from the matured avocado fruiting tree. Here is the other one. We will select uh, two scions to be used in our V-clip grafting for avocado fruit tree. This is already matured fruiting tree. I think we'll take this one. Yeah, this one. And we will cut here. Okay. Okay. So we got already one. This is good uh, matured branch from matured matured avocado protein tree. So we will select this one for the first one. And maybe this for the second one. the covered scion to be attached here and projected drought stock by means of big leaf grafting method you can see this is a support small branch so this uh, this root stock will stay alive so but the main branch we will cut and attach the scion we prepared okay so we will cut here now then we will make a big cut here 
so we can insert the style okay so we will cut around one inch so the scion on the bottom part we will cut with base sheep around one inch you can use sharp knife so it will be a cut straight both sides You can see so the scion with B shape on the bottom part will be inserted to the topmost of rootstock which we already slice one inch the trunk in the center area now before we insert the scion we will put aloe vera juice to secure from bacterial attack and one more thing for uh, fusing so it will fuse immediately to the rootstock when we insert this scion so now I am putting uh, aloe vera juice here so it will serve as a growth hormone and antibacterial agent so it will not be attacked by bacteria at the same time the rootstock also we will put aloe vera juice before we insert this uh, scion okay now it's already rubbed with the uh, aloe vera juice and ready for insertion here now they are already together and then we will wrap with uh, plastic tape so it will be secured so here is the grafting tape we will uh, bind this one to make to secure the grafted area so we wrap with the grafting tape the grafted uh, trunk so we can secure the grafted uh, area from any movement caused by strong wind or heavy rain so no water will go inside the grafted area so this is the simple grafting technique using the big leaf grafting method for avocado fruit tree. So it's already done. We already secured the uh, grafted area and we also covered with the uh, plus with grafting tape the body of the scion together with the uh, rootstock on the grafted area. The water will not get in. Okay, then after that we will uh, cover the scion and the grafted area with plastic to maintain the humidity inside to help the grafted area to be healed and will not dry easily due to heat of the sun this plastic will help to build up the new buds and the new brands new leaves and to keep the grafted area secure and will not be overheated and to maintain the humidity and good temperature inside okay so it's already closed so we leave it like this so we will come back and check after one month or two months of the further development for this our deep grafting 
method for the avocado fruit tree. And we will put this newly grafted seedling under the shade so it will not be directly hit by the sunlight or will not be overheated. Okay? <laughs> Thank you.